What's good, Bevis? IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here in Liverpool for Liverpool Fight Week. Smith vs Fowler with Liverpool's very own Peter McGray. How are you, mate? Sound like yourself. Very good, very good. Take two, of course. Um, yeah, there's a lot to talk about because you told me the last time you was in IFL, you were interviewed by Sonny. And we're talking four or five years ago, so you're a completely different person with a completely different story now, aren't you? Yeah, completely. I've grew up a bit. There's a few more medals in my mum's, a few more trophies and that. And a few more memories away, uh, away with the lads on Team GB and uh, the Olympic Games as well, and obviously now we're pro, which I hope is a lot. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you make your debut on Saturday night, but we're going to have to sort of cover the Olympics first, obviously, yeah. because it's the most recent and in the memory. Um, I know from your side, because I've seen uh, some articles and whatnot, I know from your side, obviously, you're very disappointed with the Olympics and how it panned out for you, but now turning pro and looking back at your amateur career as a whole, I mean, you, I suppose you, you can't begrudge. Nah, I'm uh, very proud of my amateur career, do you know what I mean, what I've done. I was the first scouter to win a European gold medal, uh, Commonwealth gold. I won a medal at every major tournament in that Olympic cycle, uh, two World Brunders, apart from obviously the Olympic Games. That's why I was so disappointed because I'm used to going to tournaments and at least bringing a medal home, do you know what I mean? So for me to get beaten in my first fight and I was on the plane home before some of the lads had even boxed, it was, it was a bit of a mad one, do you know what I mean? It was just like... Not the way it usually goes, and I believed in myself that, like, I was in the best shape of my life. I was flying, done the weight right, trained as hard as I could, was flying on the run, and everything was brilliant, you know what I mean? And just got the tactics wrong on the day, but played into the kids' hands, the Thai kid, you know what I mean? Was flying at him, which I don't usually do, do, you know what I mean? I'm usually the one making the opponent look stupid, but it was one of them. It's in the past now, and I'm proud of my amateur career. Uh, if I wouldn't have done what I'd done in the amateurs, maybe. I wouldn't be on bills like this for my debut, do you know what I mean? So it still has stood me in good stead and uh, it was just good to, obviously to not get the Olympic medal, but uh, we're here now and we're ready to shine on Saturday. Yeah. Well, we look forward to it, like I said. I do just want to sort of understand what it was like from the perspective of, you've done so many amateur tournaments and now you've got one. You said you was on the plane home before some of the lads have even boxed. Yeah. If you were out of the Olympics, because of COVID, you were out of the country. Yeah. So it was almost like, a, how was the feel of the tournament? Because it was quite weird seeing certain Olympians back home and not even at the closing ceremony yeah. when they've medalled. Like, it, it just seemed like a really weird from the outside. Yeah, it was. It was completely different to Rio, like, because I went out to Rio to help uh, the lads spa, spa the lads and that. And, the atmosphere in the boxing there was next level. There was Mexican waves. There was like it was just heavy. Do you know what I mean? That was that was when I thought I want to go to the Olympics. And you thought you'd get that as well. Yeah, with, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? And obviously we never like I don't I wouldn't say it affected the performances like, but obviously it's the Olympic Games like it's usually going to be a good atmosphere at the boxing and it was silent in the, in in the, in the thing. It, it didn't actually really feel like the Olympics. I don't know whether for the lads like Pat Galal Fraser. No, when they got to the medal stages. Uh, it might have felt a bit more like that. I don't know whether the, there might have been a few more of the village that, because the village was allowed in. But when I boxed there, there was hardly no one in there. Only I was like, there was like a few of my teammates. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was, it was a mad experience. But it's uh, memories that you're gonna have for life with with the lads. And I'm here now. I'm the first person to turn pro from uh, from that Olympic cycle. Well, the first person that's gonna fight. A few people have turned pro, but I'm just looking forward to all of our journeys now and and yeah, making more memories with the lads in the future. Does that come with a bit of pressure? Because every time there's sort of an Olympic cycle, you get the group from 2012 and obviously Joshua spearheaded that. You got the 2016 boys and it was like the race for the world title. Does it come with pressure to be the first one to turn over? Because everyone knows how good you are and how good the boys are from that sort of cycle. So does that come with a little bit of pressure? Uh, I haven't really thought of it like that. You know, I've just been uh, more excited than anything. Like, obviously it was about a week after I got back from the Olympics. My head's still a bit battered and I get, get a phone call. Look, you can have a slot on this bill. Uh, Liam Smith versus Anthony Fowler in the Echo Arena. So it was like straight away, it was just like a no brainer. It was like, yeah, of course, you know what I mean? It was like, well, as I'm having my debut and that on, on, a, on the heaviest bill that's been in Liverpool for years. And it was uh, just went from there. But I haven't really thought it. It's other pressures, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's, it's another fight. Obviously, it's different because it's a pro fight. But I've been boxing at a high level for years in all of these world championships in the Olympic Games. And I, I'm used to the bit of pressure and I, I, I normally perform well under it. I mean, there's a big difference between some lads who turn over, like I said, obviously being one of the GB boys and yet some of the lads who turn over and they're very raw because they're kind of novices and they haven't had many amateur fights. Yeah. Have you got to try and not let that dictate your journey? Because I know sometimes it's like, if you're a GB boy, you have to be moved quickly. You have to be a world champion in this time. Have you got to try and not let that dictate your journey in a sense? Yeah, I suppose, I suppose what you're saying is correct. Like you've just got to 
make your own journey you haven't got to oh because he's been a come world champion in three years i've got to do that you know what i mean it's different people will take different times you know what i mean i believe in myself that i can be pushed quite quick you know what i mean but my team might not my team might want me not to but whereas i want to or i might not want to but my team want me to it's just everything will just work its course you know what i mean and my team army and me, uh, myself all i can do is learn every day make be the best version of myself and i know for a fact i'm gonna go far in the game well you're on a massive bill like you said and as someone from this area, I need you to sort of give me a little bit of a lesson here. Right? I'm a London boy. Yeah. Smith versus Fowler, there's a little bit of, it's like either side of Liverpool, there's yeah, a little yeah, bit of rivalry. Yeah. Talk to me. Is this like a proper, is this like a proper rivalry, these two places? Because obviously, like I said, I'm a London boy. I don't understand the Smith and Fowler, right, yeah. like the location. Yeah, I wouldn't say, like, it's just like, obviously, you've got the north of Liverpool and the south of Liverpool, do you know what I mean? Fowler's Jim's from the south of Liverpool and lives in the south of Liverpool and Beefy's Jim's in the north of Liverpool and lives in the north of Liverpool, so... It's, it, is a, it is like North versus Liverpool, do you know what I mean? A lot of Fowler's fans are going to be from where he's from the South and most of BFE's fans are going to be from the North, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it is like that, but I wouldn't say it's, it's like not going to cause all crazy mayhem or nothing like that, do you know what I mean? But as, I suppose you never know when people have got a few bevies down them, do you? But um, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that fight since, since it obviously got made and that it's, uh, it's going to be a good fight. What does it mean to you to fight on this bill as well? Because obviously, like you said in your words, it was the heaviest bill in Liverpool in a while. Um, and being able to fight in a bill like this in your first professional fight, I mean, Liverpool is a fight city. I know it's sort of a cliche, but it is a fight city. So what does it mean to you to get a slot on a bill like this? Yeah, for me to get a slot on a bill like this, it's uh, literally, like I know I've said it, must have said it about 10 times over the past few weeks, but I probably couldn't have asked for a better debut, do you know what I mean? It's the best bill in Liverpool that's been on for years. And it's in Liverpool, do you know what I mean? Where I'm from, where I've been boxing in like Tokyo, Russia, Uzbekistan, Poland, Finland, no, just mad countries for years. Like the family have been about, like the family have been to China, Germany, Bulgaria, my family have been about and that. But uh, to go from boxing in mad countries like that, where like hardly anyone there, to now boxing in your home city, where there's going to be thousands of people. Want family can get a bus to this one, can't That's they? That's what I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll walk, do you know what I mean? If they wanted to, but nah, it's a. Uh, it's, I couldn't ask for a better debut and t thankful obviously to, to, to match room the zone for, for, getting, for letting me fight on the bill and yeah, it's going uh, to be special Saturday.